welcome to another vlog from the previous vlogs i mentioned that i'm unemployed and i'm currently still unemployed and searching for a new job i feel like when i was younger if i was you know laid off i could just you know pack up my bags and just go on a trip but now that i'm older i have much more responsibilities i find that a bit harder to do as you can see i am in the airport now um, unfortunately, I do have to leave the country for a little bit. It was sort of like a last minute type of trip. I'm flying Cathay Pacific today and the flight is packed. All the seats are taken because it's summer break and a lot of the parents are taking their kids to go on summer break right before school starts. The menu is the same as last time when I took it in the sentence. I'm unemployed. I didn't splurge on the premium economy tickets and I settled for the economy one instead. I love that Cafe has a lot of movies which is good for someone like me because I can't sleep on a plane at all. Soon after I got on the Easter dinner, I got the penne pasta, which is what I got last time. I like the flavor for the pasta, but I felt that it was too oily. I did change up the sides, but I didn't really feel like eating, so I ate a little bit of the potato salad and tried a little bit of the smoked salmon. That was it. The highlight was the ice cream they gave a haagen bar, which was very nice. Since I don't sleep on a plane, all I did was watch a bunch of movies, and I did some stretching, and before you know it, they were serving breakfast. And for breakfast, always go with the congee. I think it's more of a safer option. I would say I prefer the breakfast more than the dinner, because dinner was a bit too greasy. And not long after breakfast, I landed back in Hong Kong again. Honestly, it just feels different because I was just here just a couple months ago in January But now I'm back here, but this time I am unemployed Honestly, I do not recommend going to anywhere in Asia during the summertime like July and August Because it's very humid and hot over there Like I don't even want to come to Asia if I didn't have to After dropping my stuff, I went to get breakfast and I honestly do miss the breakfast here I walked around for a bit and then I went and got a late lunch and that's how I spent my first day in Hong Kong. So the next day I went to buy some breakfast. Like you get so much for what the cost is and I got all the breakfast items for under $10 which is not what you see if you were to get this in the states. It even came with a small toast and a drink. In Hong Kong, they are trying to minimize plastic use, and I did get a paper spoon. The paper spoon did melt on me because I did take too long eating my breakfast. After breakfast, I went over to Hong Kong. I wanted to come by to H3. It's actually newly opened in Hong Kong. They specialize in fried toast, and they have this in Japan. There's savory or sweet options by Chelsea Creme Brulee. The bread is super crispy, and I really like the filling. I stumbled upon another bakery and decided to pick up this custard bun. It's not good. It's not the same as I had it from Kadori Bakery, so I do not recommend. I had to come by to my favorite lemon tea spot, and I got two new ducks. So the next day, I got some rice noodles with fish ball for breakfast. I guess it's like a little rant. So a little update, even though I am abroad, I am still actively job searching. If you are also job hunting in the year 2024, it has been such a humbling experience because I've just been getting rejections. It was so easy to get an interview two years ago. If you are also job searching, let's not give up. We are in this together. I know it's hard, but we can do this. Enough of me rambling. Let's just take the bus to TST. I came by the donkey to pick up some snacks. I really like the fry shaped snacks, so I picked up a lot to bring back. I took my mom to the harbor for a bit, but it was just too hot. I then brought her to my favorite soup dumpling place to get a snack. Look at the juice inside the dumpling. And I have to stop by my favorite store and got a new duck. Here's a little sneak peek of my duck collection. I'm heading to the train station to go check out a new mall in the area. It's very hot in Hong Kong, so. I would suggest going out later in the day. You won't be missing much because most of the stores and shops open pretty late. Always remember to bring a hat or an umbrella. The sun here is different than the state. You feel like your skin is getting burnt when you step out. So I made it to the train station and it felt so nice because there is AC um, in the train station, which I love. 
In the States, there's no AC for the train station, so waiting for the train is the worst. I believe this is one of the newer malls. If you've been to any of the malls in Hong Kong, you know it's decorated very intricate. And my favorite is the K11 Museum. I really like the architecture and design inside the Airside Mall. They also have an outdoor terrace that leads to the view, which is very nice. You can see like a lot of the tall buildings in Hong Kong. As you can see, it's very sunny, so you definitely need a hat or an umbrella. I didn't stop by a Tatanting to get a quick bite because it was quite late for lunch already. I just got spaghetti and I mean it was okay, it's not the best. Then I did some shopping with my mom. I know a lot of people go to Japan and Korea to buy a lot of their skincare, but you can also find a lot of stuff in Hong Kong too. I picked these up for myself. I got a new sponge and I got two powders to try out because I heard these were moisturizing and I was planning them to use them under my under eye because my under eye is a bit dry. I also picked up a hair oil because I forgot to bring one on this trip and the rest of the items my mom picked up for herself and also to give away to some of her friends as souvenirs. I bought all my items at Fafa and you have a membership, you get some discounts and you can ask for samples too. Here are also I bought or um, I started putting them in my luggage just so that it doesn't take up space outside. I also realized I got a mosquito vine and I'm highly allergic, so it's starting to swell up a bit. It's still in the beginning stages, yes, yeah, so I haven't reached the peak of swelling. So for dinner, I just got takeout. So that's how my week went, and the next few days I just stayed in because I couldn't really walk and I felt very tired. If you watched until the end, thank you and stay tuned for the next vlog.